What's up, everybody? We're here with Cougar Kyle himself. What's up, George? How you doing? Doing great. And we're talking some wee knives. Let's do it. All right, Kyle, tell me about all the cool new Wii stuff. All right, dude, okay, let's jump right into it. Obviously, there's this new product right here. We've seen, we love it. Mm -hmm. you can, we can go over that later. Let's yeah. hop into the coming soon. Okay. All right. We have a brand new Banter. This is a Warncliffe. With the Warncliffe blade. So everything we love about the Banter with the Warncliffe blade and contouring on the handles. It's a yeah. little less blocky, a little less kind of squared off, if you will, right? So it's gonna fit a little bit comfier in the hand. And then yeah, awesome blade shape. This one is rocking S35BN blade. On this particular model, we do have the micarta. And you have the liners that are gonna be stainless steel and a stainless steel pocket clip. Yeah, I'd almost call this the bushcraft banter. Oh, it's fantastic, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. The contour of micarta, like it, I didn't realize how much that would level up the ergonomics on this thing. Oh, it's by so much, and I do believe mm -hmm. it will be kind of going into the normal banters as well with that contouring. So I like to hear that. A little upgrade. Yep, going well from done, there. Ben Peterson. Okay, go move it right along. We got the Quibbit with a little wee splash in there. Okay. Okay, so this was a Civivi before, yeah? It is. Now, if you close it, you can actually see we got rid of the whole quote unquote bottle opener and that yeah. little cutout. So now, nothing there. We'll keep the lines nice and clean. Great titanium handle, 20 CV blade still, super clean, flat grind, awesome contouring, very similar. I want to say it's like almost kind of similar to like the Elementum handle. So yeah. I mean, you're able to get a nice full four finger grip on there. But it feels, it feels smaller than it is. Yeah. Like it's going to be nice and slim in the pocket, but in the hand, that's a tool. And then when you flick it out, that thud is fantastic. Listen. <laughs> yeah. I like that a lot. So, um, also, look how much milling is going on inside there. I don't know if you guys can catch that. You got to get one in your hand because this is so much lighter than I thought it was going to be. Well, it's great. It's going to cut out down on the weight as well as cut down on some of like the you know unnecessary stuff happening with the knife. Yeah, love it. All right, what's next? Hey, we got the Harpin. This is actually a Michael Burt's design. Some fun and you know unique design aspects. I mean, if you look at that close up on the handles right there, it kind of got that crosshatch fencing thing going on there. Yeah. And then a very stout, chubby blade, 20 CV blade, titanium frame lock with your milled pocket clip. Man, I am loving the milling on that. First of all, that's good. that lightens the knife up a lot. For sure. And then it also provides a textural contrast in the hand. Yeah. But my goodness, is it cool to look through? It's like I'm in prison and I can see stuff at SHOT Show. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a really fun design. We're super stoked to be working with Michael, so super cool on that one. That was called the Harpin. The Harpin, I like that a lot. All right. Okay, now we know the Navo. We've seen the Navo. The only thing we're doing, spicing it up with that aluminum foil carbon fiber. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so we're kind of giving it that gentleman's touch right in there. Mm -hmm. Still got the titanium liners, the, car the carbon fiber aluminum foil scales, 20 CV blade still, and milled pocket clip. Man, I'm very impressed with the titanium liners because you managed to keep it that thin all while keeping a steel lock bar insert on exactly. there. Exactly. So you're going to get that steel on steel. You know it's going to be a smooth action, but it's super slim like a liner lock ought to be. Yeah. Very no, nice. Love it. Works really well. Yeah. Can't, yeah, can't get much better than that. Yeah, not at all. And then this looks like a Peter Carey Nitro. The Peter Carey, the Nitro OG. So the Nitro Mini that we came out with was actually designed based off of the Nitro OG. Okay. They just came out first. So this is based off his actual custom. And so that's how large it was in the beginning. Nitro V came out and everyone's like, bigger knife, bigger knife. So we are pleasing the masses with coming out with a bigger version. It's like a, almost like a four, four inch blade on there. So yeah, it's that's a, a very, knife. very big blade. It's a big classy knife. It is. It's sub, like sub frame lock, full tie sub frame lock with your fat carbon on there and milled pocket clips. Yeah. I think I found Shaq's suit knife. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this would be perfect. <laughs> and look at this action, guys. I mean, you got that big, heavy 20 CD blade. It's fantastic. Just glides shut. And then that nice texturing there on the back, back strap as well. Exactly. Lends a little more grip without muddying up 
clean design on that. Oh yeah, no, super stoked about that one with Peter Carey. Yeah, very nice. All right, what's new in Civivi? Okay, so we'll reach over here. This is a brand new design from Raphael Brzezinski. He's actually buddies with uh, Osap Hell. Okay. You'll see him walking around shot shows and uh, blade shows as well. Super clean, like kind of almost like a Quake and Tonto blade. And the funny thing is, if I look at it correctly, the actual name of it is the Quake with a Q. Q? Quake. The so K W A I Q. Yes. How about that? It definitely has that Quaken style to it. Yeah. And it's like a. Like, so the Quakens tend to have a curve back here, but I, I don't know if it's a trick of my eyes. That looks straight <laughs> to me, but also kind of curved. I think the Tonto gives it that curved look for sure. Yeah. And then if you actually close that, take a look at that pocket clip. We've actually done this with the, the pocket clip. is the same pocket clip that's on the Sendy from Ben Peterson. Okay. That Very Sendy. similar. Very interesting knife. And then you got, yeah, deep carry pocket clip. That one is rocking Nitro V blade seal, G10 scales with the stainless steel liners. Yeah. So you'll see these come out with a lot of different variations and different colors in when the model actually comes out. Yeah, I like the orange, it pops nice. Oh yeah, you're not, you're not losing that. I'm not losing that. <laughs> yeah, and I like this little texture. I want to do yellow and go like a bumblebee vibe. Oh yeah. But like actual insects, I guess. <laughs> Yep. Okay, now we're pulling out these two. All these right. ones we've seen. We've debuted these quite a few times, but now they're actually coming to life. This these is are... called the Various, uh, designed with Alan Elishowitz. Okay, so these handle pieces, or G10 insert, if you will, are actually interchangeable. So that's why there's a trainer and a live blade. So it's kind of like your tactical and your cappy knife all in one. I like that. So I've seen the sheath on these. These are like great boot knives. Yeah. I would get a pair of boots just to carry a various. You might as well. I mean, you can you can always switch it out too, right? Yeah. If you're going more like tactical. You got the signet ring on there for you, right? Yep. Make sure it's gonna stay in your hand. It's gonna be secure. It's ready for any tactical needs. Yep. With this guy, it's kind of like switching it to your camp knife. Yeah. Very lightweight, backpacking, kind of like your everyday carry almost type of knife. Yeah, but if you want one that can serve both duties, you're gonna have to call up Alan. There you go. The guy knows how to design a knife. He really does. Yeah, so <laughs> various, and this is D2, and then you got, yeah, the handle piece, that'll be G10. Okay. One awesome. last one on Civivi. Got the Cairo. The Cairo. I gotta tell you, that design, like, I don't know what kind of crazy vampire. Yeah, is it like alien-esque? <laughs> yeah, like very <laughs> fantasy style, but strangely incredibly ergonomic. Just fits right in your hand. Yeah, exactly. You have all those contouring on the handles, some lines that need to be where they're going to be, but it still gives it that super nice pop of design. Yeah. Got 14C28 on the blade. Love to see ceramic it. Ceramic cage ball bearings and also the G10 right there. So you'll also see that in different colors. Yeah. Ooh, very, very nice. So that's that. the Cairo, and you got one last one. I do, you told me to put this one in my pocket. Sencut. Sencut, yeah. <laughs> that was called the Arc Blast. Arc Blast! Oh, brand new from Sencut that we'll, shoot, we'll be seeing here pretty soon. Button lock, looking at 9CR blade, aluminum handles, thumb studs for deployment, and a flipper. Yeah, thumb stud. So it's kind of got that fidget factor with the thumb stud, flipper, button lock, I mean, all the goodies. Yeah, let's see if we can get the flick. Woo. Oh yeah, easy peasy. Yeah, that's a real fidgety knife. And it's small, but big at the same time. It's just the right size. And a nice hollow grind gives you a very thin edge. Yeah. I like it. Great knife to like buy for your little cousin, little brother. Yeah. It's kind of, it's, it's a small little package. Yeah, or just get it for yourself, man. Exactly. It's probably a great deal. <laughs> well, that's an hey. awesome lineup, Kyle. Appreciate hey, it, man. Thanks for your time. Thanks George, for it's a pleasure. Thank you. you. As well. Take it easy.